Hi, it's Alice, and I'm back again to talk about how that you can create custom formulas in Trade Ideas to use with your Trade Ideas alert windows and top list windows. The first thing you need to do is to go to the TradeIdeas.com website and log in. Once you do that, you will see this page. And what you do is that you go to the link here called Custom Formulas. Now when you do that, if you've got any formulas here, they will be listed. If you haven't created any, then this list will be empty and you will be able to create your first one. Um, custom formulas are used in trade ideas in your alert windows and top list windows when you want to um, create a special filter. Let me show you one of the ones that um, I like to use a lot. Um, and it is right up here. And it is um, this formula expected open over most recent close. And this custom formula is used in almost all of my alert windows. And what I use it for is to find out how far away a stock um, opened from its previous close of yesterday. So if you want to be able to filter for stocks that are um, gapping way up or way down, then you would use a formula like this. So let me show you how that you create your first formula. You will come down here to the very bottom of the list and you will click Create New. When you do that, you will get this page here that asks for the source. So this is going to be the formula that you will use for your new custom formula. Now let's say that you want to create this same formula that I used for looking at how far away stocks opened from their previous close. So in this source here, you will type in, actually I'm just going to paste it here, but you will type in expected underscore open slash most underscore recent underscore close. <coughs> then here in the description, just put in any name that you want. Um, I'm going to call this, uh, let's say, open away. You don't have to worry about any of these other fields. These are the only things that you really need to fill in. And then you just click Save. Uh, when you do that, unfortunately, they don't take you back to the previous page. Um, so you will have to say return to list. But you will see our new formula that we created right down here. The thing to note is the number that it gives it. Right here you will see this is U93. Another thing that I want to show you is if you want to know what are the things that you can use in your custom formulas click on this link here, Filter Codes for Custom Formulas. So this will come up and this will have a bunch of things that you can use for your custom formulas. I have to tell you though that this is really just half of the information. Um, there's another bit of information too and let me show you where that is. If you go back here, press your back button, um, 
The other piece of information, you have to click this um, help PDF. And when you do that, you will get this PDF that comes up here. And you need to scroll down. And look at this other data. See here is where this most recent close is and this is where this expected open is. And you will see some other um, pieces of information here that you can also use here, which are interesting. Things like the simple moving average numbers and the volume for the last one minute, five minutes, 10 minutes. These are good pieces of information to be able to use in your formulas. So uh, let's click the back button here. Okay, so let's see how that we can use this new formula. Let's say we want to create a new um, alert window. We'll say new alert window. And what you want to do is go to the search tab here. <clears throat> and your custom formulas are going to be at the bottom. They are all numbered here, and the one we just created was this 93, opened away. So I'm gonna say add filter here. Okay, so let's say we wanna find stocks that opened at least 5% above their previous close and stocks where the price is at least 10 and volumes at least 300,000 um, and make sure that we have that column also shown here and for the um, name let's call this opened up ah so let's run the history for today Uh, yes, we can see PGNX was here, <clears throat> and it opened 7% above its previous close. Uh, NetEase, that was a great one today. That opened 8% above its previous close, and it just kept going up and up and up all day. So this shows you how that you can use custom formulas in your alert and top list windows. I hope you found this useful. Thanks.